Motor Week is made possible by TireRack.com and RockAuto.com. Sport utility vehicles are undoubtedly the hottest market segment in the auto industry. And like anything else in such demand, the price is rising even as the selection expands. Mitsubishi's latest addition to the Sport Ute cavalcade is this new Montero Sport. It's designed to add both excitement and affordability to Mitsubishi's four-wheel drive lineup. Now that's a combination rarely seen in today's market. So does Mitsubishi know something that others don't? What Mitsubishi knows is that to become a serious player in a market that's dominated by one or two vehicles, you have to offer customers something better and different, but not too different. Thus, the 1997 Mitsubishi Montero Sport doesn't deviate from the two-box shape so popular with Explore and Grand Cherokee fans. The front fascia is as aggressive as any SUV, and tow hooks and skid plates are standard. On profile, lots of glass and flush hardware make the Montero Sport look sleeker without sacrificing height. And at the rear, well, it would be hard to mistake the full width reflectors for that of any other SUV. The latter type frame of the Montero Sport is based on the classic Montero with the same 107.3 inch wheelbase. The biggest difference being that the Sport uses a simpler leaf spring rear suspension so the spare tire can be carried between the frame rails. Inside, everything is all new and easily the most car-like interior Mitsubishi has yet styled for a truck. The wide front bucket seats look inviting and have a good variety of adjustments. However, some of our staff felt they needed more bottom padding. The main gauge cluster is large and clear, with a Montero-style multimeter over the dash center. We love the big air vents and rotary climate switchgear, but once again, Mitsubishi stereos suffer from too many tiny buttons. The Montero Sport is about seven inches shorter than the classic Montero and seats five instead of seven. Those in the back, however, do enjoy ample legroom and the split bench folds for versatility, which is substantial. Total cargo volume is 79.3 cubic feet. Montero Sport power depends on trim level. The base ES struggles with a 2.4 liter, 134 horsepower inline four cylinder. The LS and top grade XLS use the Diamante's 3 liter, 173 horsepower overhead cam V6. Its 188 pound feet of torque seems marginal, but there is enough power at the pavement to push the Montero Sport to 60 in 9.6 seconds. Everyday maneuverability and roll stability are among best in class too. We did find the ride sometimes jostles you around a bit, but it's far less harsh than some competitors. On 4x4 models, brakes are all disc, but anti-lock is unfortunately an option. If there is one place the Montero Sport trails its domestic competition, it is in convenience of the 4x4 system. While it is shift on the fly, the part-time transfer case should never be used on dry pavement. But then Mitsubishi sees the Montero Sport as a real SUV. And as we found out on these ragged Arizona trails, its generous 8.5 inches of brown clearance means it can really tackle the tough stuff. Even if all your trails lead only to the shopping mall, you may still have some money left to spend. Prices for a Montero Sport ES 4x2 begin at $18,065. It jumps to $23,575 for an LS 4x4 and a fully loaded XLS stickers at $31,555. By the time our Motor Week crew headed for home, there was near universal agreement that not only did linking the Montero Sport with the classic Montero make sense, but that it would also be a sellout. With the Sport, Mitsubishi has managed to produce a lower cost mainstream model that is just different enough to be the first real competitor to the domestic sport utility leaders.